All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, I am gonna answer a ridiculously common question that I've been getting recently, especially now that we're approaching the end of the fig season. We are also in the midst of harvesting a lot of figs and probably some of you are thinking, well, where are my figs? Why am I not getting any? And the question I get is, why are, the, why are my figs not ripening? Well, I think you guys probably need to understand a little bit about how figs actually ripen because in most situations, I would guarantee almost all the situations of all of you guys watching right now, your figs probably are ripening. You just don't fully understand how they're ripening. So let me explain to you guys actually uh, a little bit about the process of how a, fig's, how a fig ripens. So this branch right here is a really great example, I think, of exactly what we need to see, of the different stages of a fig. And so at the top, we have a fig that has just formed. It's really small. And very quickly after they form, over I guess about 30 days, they'll very quickly get to a larger size. Here's a slightly larger size here. Um, and they'll be, you know, rather quickly in that process. And they'll probably get to, I don't know, something smaller than, than this, what you see here. And then, believe it or not, they're gonna actually stay stagnant in size and not get any larger for 30 days. So in that process, I think that you guys right now are thinking, well, it's not ripening. In reality, the fig is actually staying stagnant in its normal ripening process. Not only does it stay stagnant for 30 days, the fig then, after that 30 day period, will ripen very quickly, almost overnight, and swell to a larger size. And then do the same thing again. It actually stays stagnant for 30 days in size, and then swells once again to a larger size almost overnight. Uh, before finally then reaching its final ripening stage where it's not just green and hard anymore, it actually starts turning color, getting larger, getting softer, and of course, increasing those sugars. So I think um, that's really the crux of the issue right there. Now, how do we instead, if you want the figs to actually ripen sooner, or if we want our figs to continue ripening and make sure that you're gonna ripen them before the end of the season, how do we ensure that to happen? Uh, because we just discussed that probably the fig is in its normal ripening process. But if we don't have enough temperatures in our soil, it's getting too cold outside, it can be very difficult. And that 30 day period that I mentioned can be even longer. Um, so we want to have a warmer soil. That is really what's controlling the metabolisms of our trees, right? Just like us as humans, we have an internal temperature that controls our metabolism. When we're too hot, we start to sweat. When we're too cold, we start to shiver. And that way we have homeostasis that keeps us at the right internal temperature. It's the same thing for figs, but the soil temperature is really what regulates how fast their metabolisms are going. We want to keep the soil temperature as close to 78 degrees Fahrenheit as possible. So if we have a fig that's not in the sun, like the sun shining on my face, it's in the shade because the sun now in the fall is lower in the sky or we just in general have uh, shorter days, it's gonna be more difficult for things to be warmer. If the nighttime temperatures are now getting into the 50s, the 40s, even the 30s, it can be very, very difficult to continue to ripen figs. So we wanna get them to ripen actually earlier when it's warm that's the goal hopefully you guys have a long enough season to actually ripen figs you need about 150 at least 150 roughly of frost free days to reliably ripen figs but every little soil temperature that we add and we can control let's say if it's in a container we can move it into more sun or we can move it into a warmer location or we can plant our fig tree like the one behind me on the west southwest corner of the property where it is very warm, where the sun is shining. Um, other than that, the other thing that's in our control is to actually grow an earlier variety. 
and that some varieties, in fact, once they form that little fig that we looked at here on the tree, it takes about 90 days for them to ripen on average. So if we can know when they formed, we can count ahead of time or predict mathematically ahead of time that 90 days later, it's going to be ripe. Other varieties that are early may actually only take 65 or 70 days. So that's gonna buy you a whole lot of time right there uh, and yeah, so the variety is really critical. The heat units are really critical. And of course, that is the actual process of them ripening figs. Hope you guys learned something. Please check out my blog, figboss.com. There's so much other fig related information there. You guys can definitely learn a lot there. And also please hit the subscribe button, hit this like button. If you guys found this helpful, we'll see you for the next video. Take care.